I am Mentor, Guardian of the Lens, and my story is as old as the cosmos itself. Long before the creation of the planet Earth, there existed two ancient and mighty races whose minds of power could affect the tides of fate and future. These two races were the opposite poles of the elemental forces of existence, one the manifestation of good, the other of evil. The planet Edor was the embodiment of evil. The Edorians' only pleasure was destruction. Power was their only desire, hatred their only emotion. To pursue their goal of intergalactic domination, they created a vicious, bloodthirsty warrior race known as the Overlords of Delgarn. Opposing the forces of darkness was Arisia, visualizing the future of the cosmic all. The Arisians knew that in spite of their tremendous power, they alone could not vanquish the Adorian menace. And so they created the Lens. Those valiant enough to wear it were called Lensmen, and their power was great indeed. For through the Lens, their minds were merged with the cosmic consciousness of Arisia. Thus were the battle lines drawn in the war between good and evil, a war that has ever been and shall ever be. Transmission received by Galactic Patrol Command Center. Come in, come in. Man, the Essex is gone. The Hamilton's the only battle cruiser left in the formation. But our main guns are fused. I don't know how long our shields will hold out under the... <laughs> Hamilton, come in, come in. Hamilton, respond. They're tearing our fleet to pieces, whoever they are. We're powerless against them. What about the Britannia, sir? She's within range and still operational. Yes, the Britannia is one of our finest ships, but after what I've seen, I doubt that the Britannia alone will have much of a chance against them. Looks like we're about to find out if you're right. Take a look. The aliens are heading for the Britannia, sir. And if she can't stop them, the fleet is doomed. chances, Sal, if we engage the aliens? Probability of survival, 0 0.3. Not bad. Correction, 0 0.003. Not good. Activate automated tactical evasion mode. I took the liberty of activating the automated tactical evasion maneuvering system 20 seconds ago, Captain Hudson. Ah. Sorry, little buddy, but when I switch over to manual, I'm going to need a co-pilot. Patrol combat mandate number 33. Clearly Save states. it, will you, Saul? Mr. Kinnison, get out of that seat. That's a direct order, mister. You hear me? Hey! Our other ships tried ATEMs, sir, and the aliens got every one of them. Kim's got a point, sir. To get away from those guys, we're gonna really have to open her up. Saul, engage the Bergen homes. Full thrust. On the double. Full thrust, high gear, regular. According Just to... Just do it, Saul. Engage. 
Captain, I think we got a chance of getting out of this mess in one piece. You got the finest pilot in the fleet at the controls. Thanks, Buzz. The patrol never gives up without a fight, Kennison. You hear that? I don't either. Him, you've got the heart of a Valerian. Can the sweet talk, Buzz. We got work to do. Probability increased by a factor of 10. Yeah. <laughs> Level with me, kid. You've done this before. Oh, once or twice. Well, you gotta admit one thing, Captain. The kid knows his stuff. Yeah. Huh? Alien gunships ahead. Come about. Captain, I'm trying a flyby. Then we'll be caught in a crossfire. It's too risky. Come about. Aye, aye, sir, but I think it's a big mistake. Yep. Main battery's fused and the shields are down. Sir, I think it's time to abandon ship. You may be a good pilot, but abandoning ship is a decision, decision for... imminent. Emergency evacuation highly recommended. Like the microchip said, thanks for the input. Sorry, Admiral, but it looks like the Britannia is gone. Two escape pods made it out. Saul, give me a status report. I, uh, uh... What's the matter? Loss of access to logic grid. ROM malfunction. Any idea what's causing it? There exists no power or life force in the natural continuum ah. which could cause such a malfunction. If you eliminate the natural continuum, what else is there? The supernatural, of course. You need an overhaul. I think we got away clean. Plot a course for Command Central. Data of Saul? Uh, uh. Hey, you can't break down on me now, Saul. I need your help. Patrolman Kim Kinnison, the powers of darkness are gathering their forces in a concerted effort to infect the universe with their evil. The aliens you have confronted are the Bosco, who, as you have seen, possess great power. But more powerful by far are the bloodthirsty masters they serve, the overlords of Delgar. Hmm? Boscone? Overlords? I gotta be dreaming. Hey! Saul, where are you when I need you? Come on, snap out of it, will you? Huh? Uh-oh. What's happening to me? What's going on? Whoa! Shock. That's what it is. I'm in shock because of the attack. It's all a giant illusion, a hallucination. Right? Yeah, right. You need not be afraid, Kim Kinnison. There's that voice again. I am Mentor of Arisia. The overlords of Delgan seek to destroy the civilized universe. We of Arisia are its guardians. Our visualization of the potential futures of the cosmic all shows us that Arisia alone cannot prevail against the forces of darkness. We therefore seek the aid of those worthy few whose intelligence, courageous spirit, and strength of purpose is equal to the task. You, Kim Kinnison, are among those few, and thus have you been summoned. Those reporters will be out for blood, Admiral. The aliens beat us, and they'll want to know why. The only thing we can do is tell them the truth, right, Admiral? And what if the truth is a breach of security, Major? The patrol's knowledge of the aliens is classified and secret, Major, and will remain that way. And we know next to nothing. If the true extent of our losses were known, the entire Federation would panic. If only Kim were here, he'd tell us what to do. He'll come back soon. I know he will. I certainly hope so, Chris, as we all do.
You've all been given the official report. Are there any questions? Yes, sir. All of us have the official report, Admiral Haynes, and it doesn't explain anything. He's right. Our readers want to know what happened out there. That's classified information. But what about these aliens? Is it true our fleet was almost wiped out, Admiral? Sorry, no comment. Is there any plan to mount a counterattack? Can we win? Well, how about it, Admiral? I've told you what I can. I'm not authorized to... What the devil? You have been found worthy, Kim Kinnison, to join the Fellowship of the Lens. You have been chosen to become a Lensman. Lensman? Kim! It's gone! Hmm? What's it all mean, Admiral? Who's Kim? What's going on? Tell us, Admiral. I wish I knew. Oh, Kim. What is it you want me to do? The Fellowship of the Lens is dedicated to the preservation of the civilized universe. You shall do all within your power to overcome the forces of evil, aided by the power of the Lens. You think you can distract us with a sideshow? What are you going to do about the aliens, Admiral? We'll have to mobilize every unit we've got. But, sir, what good will that do without a weapon that will defeat them? Admiral, we need more time. <clears throat> At present, the aliens have proven their military superiority. But from what we've witnessed here today, I sincerely believe that within a short time we'll have the means to defeat them. Was it Kim we saw or an illusion? Unless you believe in mass hypnosis, yes. I'm certain it was, and I'm equally certain that we've witnessed the beginning of mankind's greatest adventure. How do I make this thing work, Mentor? From within. Concentrate, Lensman. That's one of Britannia's escape pods. Hey, it's Buzz. He's headed for the alien ship. That maniac's gonna get himself killed. Ah, uh -huh. their shields are down. I suppose they're not expecting any company. Their shields must be down. He's going in. But he doesn't stand a chance by himself. Please, you've got to tell me how to use this lens to help Buzz, or he's a goner. Look within. But can't you see him? Have faith, young lensman. Farewell. Ah. Which I can talk to Saul about this. I wonder what's wrong with him. Nothing. I'm feeling much better, thank you. I didn't say a word. Huh. Telepathy, huh? I think I'm gonna like this. Ah, how are you doing, boys? Ah! <laughs> That's not nice! You shouldn't have done that. Cause now I'm angry! You didn't think I'd let you have all the fun, did you, Buzz? We've got to stop meeting like this. Lunch could make it to the party. I was just getting warmed up. I would have been here a lot sooner, but I had to make an unscheduled stop to pick up a lens. A lens? What's that? It makes me a defender of the universe. You see, the Adorians control the overlords of Delgon, who control the Bosco. And... Uh oh, company! Oh! Evasive action highly oh, recommended. Oh. That was close. So you're supposed to defend the universe, huh? Whoa! In that case, how about you're defending the three of us? I'm not sure how. It didn't come with an instruction manual, you know. Oh, what the? Hey! Surrender yourself to the lens, Kim Kinison. You must take control of the ship. Allow the lens to guide you. But how? Become one with the lens. Become one. All right, I'll give it my best shot. Gotta concentrate. Hey, what's going on? Now's the time. Let's go. May I suggest that 
case will seem appropriate. Doing the right thing. Code red, Admiral. Incoming bogey, a big one. Looks like this is it. Status report. The Raider's about two minutes away, Admiral. Perimeter sensor is magnifying now. That's him on the monitor, sir. Engage! Engage! Commence firing! Force field. Sir, aboard your alert. This is Kinnison. Saul, don't you think you better transmit our identification code to Admiral Haynes before the fleet blows us to pieces? But patrol mandate number... Saul. Mm. As you can see, sir, I've captured an alien vessel thanks to Van Buskirk and the power of the lens. So it's true, then. You're a lensman. I understand how you feel, sir. I can't believe it either. Sure is good to be back. You ready for some R&R? &R? Yep. Yeah, we really socked it to him, didn't we, Buzz? Yeah, all right. Only reason you're so happy is because you're going to see that pretty nurse of yours, Chris McDougal. Hey, Buzz, buzz off. I'm surprised the Admiral let you two go. You haven't even been debriefed yet. I convinced him that we're badly needed on Volantia right away. Not many people can convince the Admiral of anything. How'd you do it? I told him about this feeling I had that the Volantians are in big trouble, and that if we don't help them soon, it'll be too late. So you had a feeling, did you? Where'd you get this feeling, Kennison? I don't know. The lens, maybe? Hey there, old pal. Yeah, Buzz? I wouldn't advertise that if I were you. Now, hear this. The Admiral says that Kennison has some kind of feeling that there's trouble in Volantia, so we got to ship all the way across the galaxy to check it out. Kennison reporting, Captain. Request permission to come aboard. Permission granted. Heard a lot about you, Captain Henderson. Good to be here. The Admiral chose you for this mission personally. Let's get one thing straight. I think this whole thing is a complete waste of time. But I got my orders and I'll follow them. Just remember, Kinnison, that I'm the captain of this ship and I give the orders, lens or no lens. You got it, Captain, whatever you say. Oh, Kim. I think you're pretty cute, too. <laughs> I find it incredible that you've authorized a mission based on unsubstantiated reports. Kim has a hunch that this mission is very important. Not just a hunch, the instinct of a lensman. Mission personnel now boarding gunship Hermes. Standard propulsion systems and fuel ratio check complete. Bergenholm free drive systems integrated and on standby. Shield systems check complete. Main battery and weapon systems A-OK. -okay. Communication systems test complete. Are you ready for launch, Captain? Affirmative. There'll be no patrol craft in that area to support you, so be careful and good luck. Yes, sir. Thank you, Admiral. All right. You heard what the man said. We got a job to do. Let's do it. Now I wait. 
wait. That's the worst part, the waiting. Take care, my dearest. Take care. Listen, if you've got any suggestions, Mr. Kinnison, I'm sure we'd all be happy to hear them. I think you're doing just fine. It's going to be a long trip. If you get any more of those feelings, be sure to let me know, please. My lens is being triggered by some kind of sensor. Captain, we're being scanned by the enemy. Is that right? Another one of those feelings of yours? They've got a scanner locked onto us. Check your instruments if you don't believe me. Instruments confirmed, Captain. Activating Bergen Home free drive. Singleton, status report. Entry into hyperspace seems to have thrown them off our scent. <laughs> All right, everyone, we're back in normal space. Keep your eyes open for Boscone Raiders. Captain, they're about to attack. Three bogeys, and they're headed this way. Sir, there's nothing on my screen to indicate enemy activity. That's because they're still in hyperspace, so they won't show up on our screens. But I know they're out there. You gotta listen to me, Five Henderson. Five million bucks worth of radar can't be wrong, Kennison. Maybe next time you'll have a little more faith in the lens. All right, Mr. Infallible, so you made a lucky guess. Battle status. Activate the shield. Shields activated and weapons armed, sir. System overload. Recommend power cut back at once. What's wrong with you, Henderson? Are you deaf? Didn't you hear what Saul said? Cut your power, Captain. I'm giving the orders here, so get off my back. Listen, I was sent on this mission for a reason, and it wasn't to watch you wreck your you ship. You and Ben Buskirk's your... mission is on Valantia. My orders were to get you there, and that's where you're going. Good luck, you two. Ah! Ah! Kim Kinison, you are nearing your destination. Huh? Maybe we're closer than we thought we were. Where are we, anyway? I ever tell you what a great navigator you are? Mm-hmm. I lied. Why don't you ask that lens of yours and ask for ham sandwich while you're at it? There it is, Buzz. Valantia, dead ahead. Let's go down and take a closer look. I've seen some weird planets in my time, but this one... You're right. I've wow. never seen anything like it. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah? Ever get the feeling your calories are being counted? Or you're about to do a double take? Yeah. 
The ice form's appearance may be repulsive, but they are harmless. I am Warzel, Lensman of Valentia, and the last free Valentian. My name is Kim. He's Buzzkirk. Welcome. Thanks for getting us out of there, Warzel. So you're a Lensman, too? Yes, I am a Lensman, but my power fades. What's the matter? I think the Boscone has exhausted me. Yeah, but how could they defeat the whole planet of Volantia, especially with you around? After all, you are a Lensman, aren't you? The Boscoan are many, and their weapons are powerful. I have been fighting them for many years. Alone, I was not strong enough to protect my people from the Boscoan Horde, which has robbed my fellow Volantians of their freedom. My people are prisoners and slaves, victims of the Boscoan Butchers. First, they hit us with incendiaries, and they blasted our cities with cluster rockets. Very few escaped, but those who did went insane from exposure to thionite, a deadly gas which only a race as evil as the Boscone would ever use as a weapon. The gas has affected me as well. I may unknowingly attack you at any moment. But I am grateful that you have come to deliver my fellow Valantians from this hideous persecution. We'll help my people, won't you? You bet, Wurzel. That's exactly why we're here, to help Valantia. Right, Buzz? Hey, Wurzel, do you know where you're going? You sure you didn't make a wrong turn somewhere? The Dark Twin. Huh? That is what we call our twin planet, Valantia too. That is where my people are being held. Stay alert. The Moscone are everywhere. Are you all right? It's starting again. You stay here and take it easy, Warzel. Yes. We're gonna go take a look over that ridge, all right? Certainly. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> Incredible. The lens flattened. Ugh. He'll rest easy in here. May the power of his lens protect him until we return. Protect him? He tried to kill you. Can't blame him for that, Buzz. He didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, I suppose so. The sooner we're out of here, the better. Let's go. Whew. Only one thing that could be. Yeah, a prison. It looks awfully well guarded to me. Got any ideas how we can get them out of there? <laughs> Follow the river. The lens will guide you. Let's go. I sure hope you can swim, Buzz. No problem. Besides, I haven't had a bath since we left Command Central. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. This is the way in. Once I get inside, you create a diversion out here. You got it. Just tell me when. Give me three minutes. Check.
do it, Buzz. must be where the Bosco keep their Volantian slaves. They're being held by a locally transmitted tractor beam. Human, halt or die. Good to see you. But next time, wear a watch. Hey, give me a break. These walls are tough. Jim, this is Wurzel. I see as you see through the power of the lens. You must drain the Boscon's cyanide facts. Can you see Buzz, Wurzel? Yes, he's most efficient. Delgon? My identity is of no possible concern to one who will shortly cease to exist. <laughs> there you go, Kim. Time for some target practice. Yeah, right. this? It's Henderson. <gasps> and the rest of the crew. Drop your weapons. Drop your weapons. Become our slaves or die. The choice is yours. Overlord, surrender. The power of the lens compels you. Our outpost is surrounded. Surrender to the Lensman! Kim, my friend, we must destroy this horrible place of torture and misery forever. 
Commence demolition sequence. This day, the balance of power has shifted in our favor. And with the help of Orisia and the Lens, we shall eventually overcome the forces of evil. I just wish that I really knew how to work this thing. The knowledge is within you, Kim. The Lens is a conduit which augments the power within you and is the means whereby the way of wisdom can be perceived. I truly believe that the Lensmen are worthy guardians of the civilized universe. We owe them a tremendous debt of gratitude. Look, Captain Henderson, I'm sorry for trying to tell you your business. If it weren't for you, we never could have done it. Thanks. Thanks a lot. The Captain acknowledges the Lensmen's thanks. Yeah. Hermes, this is Central. You have a Kim Kinnison aboard? Her safely still must be a fortune. Hi, Anthem. You miss me? I miss you. Terribly. Here's a little something for you to think about. <laughs> Don't you want to get a little closer? That's better. Now, come on, how's about a well, kiss, Listen Anthony? to that. Mwah. <laughs> 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 The Arisian Council wishes to commend all its right, newest... All right, all Can't you see I'm busy? Excuse me. Kim Kinnison. Kim Kinnison. Wake up, young lensman. There is work to be done. The Adorians have sent an overlord of Delgan to Posedia, a wet moon of Rigel IV. His mission is sabotage. Hey. What? It is your duty to stop him. Oh, no. Not again. You must go to Posedia. But why me? There must be other lensmen. Destiny requires you no, and I, you I, alone I, uh, to perform this mission, Kim Kinnison. You must go. Anything you say, all right? Huh? Wait a minute. He's gone. It's Kinnison, sir. Admiral Haynes? Guess he must be on the transmission deck. This was transmitted four days ago, sir. We've found their ship and are analyzing it now. Looks like a Spaceways pleasure cruise. Nothing unusual about that. That's what we thought, sir. But just watch. Isn't that a Rogelian councilman? It was a Rogelian councilman. <laughs> Great galaxies, they're turning to stone. Exactly, sir. Strange, I've heard of such cases, but they're extremely rare. You mean you know what's causing it? That toxin is found only on Persedia, where space waste bottles the beverage they were drinking. There's no doubt in my mind that the Boscone are responsible. The patrol has no jurisdiction in the Regellian sector, so the Spaceways operation on Pesetio would be a perfect target for infiltration and sabotage. Gentlemen? Kim, we've got a problem. We'd Sorry, like there's invest... an emergency in the Regellian system I have to take care of first. That's what we were talking about. How did you know about it? Know about what, sir? It was a massacre. What? The Spaceways liner. The Boscone poisoned everyone aboard. Come on, we're on our way to the lab. I think you'll all be interested in our findings. We gave each of our biogenetic control droids a sample of the fluids found aboard the Spaceways vessel. All the soft tissues underwent calcification within a few seconds. Several years ago, an entire crew was killed when their water supply was accidentally polluted with the same toxins. But this was bottled commercially, not in the water supply. Yes, he's right. In my opinion, the Spaceways bottling facility should be shut down. It's strange that these toxins have never shown up until now. The Spaceways organization supplies the whole galaxy with products like this. What if the ecosystem of Posidia itself was contaminated? Wouldn't that account for it? But Chris, how could one factory pollute an entire planet? The pollutants from a factory that big could cause a toxic chain reaction in the ecosystem. Unlikely, but we'll never know without going there to investigate. Oh! The Regellians have made it clear that they don't want the patrol involved in their internal affairs. We can try using diplomatic channels, sir. I request authority to get a ship ready to leave for Pasetti at once, sir. Your request is denied. I must go on this mission, sir. Sorry, Major, but I had to countermand your order. But, sir, without proper authorization... Lensman answer to a higher authority, Major Smith. 
What do you know about Pasetia, Hank? Pasetia? Enough not to go there, Kinnison. Kim Kinnison. The knowledge you seek is here. Ossetia has one of the most hostile environments of any planetary body in the galaxy. The atmospheric conditions make it impossible for any but the hardiest of life forms to exist there. Ossetia is almost entirely covered by water and the creatures that struggle to survive in the murky depths of the Posetian Sea are among the fiercest carnivores in the universe. I think it's too risky. It's the height of the storm season, and we know that Pacetti is heavily armed and well guarded by the Spaceways organization. Hey, I'm just a risky kind of guy. The Galactic Patrol isn't some kind of game, Kinnison. Major Smith. Sir, I'm only Mr. trying... Mr. Kinnison is aware of the dangers of this mission, but he's resolved to do his duty. Now let him do it. Thanks, Admiral. If the Boscone try to stop us, they're in for a little surprise. Hermes, this is Command Central. Good luck and good hunting. Thanks, Central. We'll be in touch after our hyperspace jump at 2300 hours. Commencing descent into Presidian airspace, sir. The spaceways transmitter must be powerful enough to detect from this range, but if they're not transmitting, how are we going to find it? Gee, I just don't know, Mr. Lensman. You could always go outside and take a look from the wing, or if you haven't got the guts for that, you can ask your little friend to go take a peek. You've got a lousy sense of humor, Henderson, you know that? I was just trying to figure out if we could pinpoint their location from their transmission. Affirmative. Terrific, Saul. Can we do it in one shot, or should we use the triangulation method? It's marked on my map. You do know what a map is, don't you? Ah, there it is. I wouldn't worry about it, Kennison. Someday you'll learn what a map is and even be able to read one. What? I don't like your attitude! If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen, mister. I'm getting some anomalous readings from my instrument sensors, Captain. I'm going aft to check the housings. The hyperspace jump might have shaken them up. If you have any problems while I'm gone, ask Kinnison to help you. He seems to have an answer to everything. Seatbelts, boys. I think we're all going to be in for a rough night. I feel like a frog in a blender. I haven't felt like this since the time I finished off a bottle of Venusian swamp heat. It's all. You got that location yet? The transmissions are emanating from one of these two locations. They're half a planet apart. Well, which one do you think it is? According to Spaceways standard operating procedures, on planetary bodies of this type... The Spaceways relay transmitter is in the lower quadrant and must be. May I remind you, Captain Hendricks, that a wet moon such as Poseidia requires that structures which serve as vital communication links be located beneath the surface, which will therefore make the alternate location a more probable choice.
Let's get to work. We're not going to find out what's going on down there from up here. Let's go. Go right ahead. If the storm doesn't get you and your blood doesn't boil from the heat, the atmospheric pressure will crush you. All right. Got any ideas? Captain, why don't we send a robot in? If he used one of the pods, he'd have no problem. Yeah, what do you say, Saul? Yeah. For such a hazardous mission, a more experienced field You've agent... You've got the best qualifications yep. for the job. It takes a lot of guts, but yep. we all know how brave you are. And no one to give you orders. Lots of nice software. Reviewing new data. Uh, uh, you did say captain of my own pod. Sort of a temporary promotion, you know? Pod Captain Sol of the Galactic Patrol reporting for duty. Closing on coordinates. Visual contact with what appears to be the relay station in question. Are you receiving video transmission? You got it, Saul. Let's take a closer look. But is it the right station? Coordinates are correct. Conclusion affirmative. Well, I'll be. The little fellow was right. Confirming E-type station. Standard spaceways configuration. Scanners indicate presence of several life forms. Now, that's strange. Yeah, I thought those relay stations were completely automated. Readings confirm active life forms on board relay stations. All right, Saul, get on back to the ship. The weather's getting pretty nasty out there. Captain, I've never seen lightning like this. Our shields might not be strong enough. Afraid of a little lightning? Just help me up, will you? Hey, that's Saul out there. What's he trying to do? Get his circuits fused? Saul, get back to the ship on the double. Correction. Captain Saul, if you please. Right. Requesting permission to commence docking procedures. Look, just get your circuits back on board, you bucket of bolts. I would suggest, Mr. Van Basker, you review your patrol manual in regard to addressing your superiors. I wonder what those life form readings meant. The reading was too weak to form any conclusions. Could you tell whether or not they were Bosco? Alien, yes, but not Bosco. Strange. Perhaps my sensors had been weakened by the storm. All right. The only way we're going to find out anything is to go down there and check it out. Kinnison had better be more careful. If what I've heard about Pacetti is true, there are creatures in these waters that I wouldn't want to run into in my worst nightmare. Listen, if that lens is everything he says it is, then he's got nothing to worry about. Something's headed straight for us, Singleton, and whatever it is, it's big, very big. Whoa. If I didn't know better, I'd swear we were being chased by a carnivorous palm tree. With fronds like that, who needs enemies? Kinnison, it's directly beneath you. Again? Whatever it is, it won't give up.
My sentiments exactly, sir, but who saved us? I did a back scan on that laser beam. It came from the same relay. Station we've been trying to investigate. I know that doesn't make any sense. I'm as mystified as you are. Okay, let's go get some answers. An excellent decision, Captain Henderson. The sooner you get here, the better. I think Saul must have some circuits loose. The lights are on, but nobody's home. I don't know, Buzz. He hasn't been wrong yet. If anybody is here, they'll be in the control room. It should be right down this corridor. Everyone ready? Yep. Anytime you are. All right, then. Let's do it. I see. Saul was right. Identify yourselves. Huh? Beware, Kim Kinison. There is danger here. to shut your operation down, understand? You'll be sorry, sorry, sorry! What a pity you've discovered our activity. What is it? What a pity? You've upset the Adorian timetable considerably. Timetable? You're talking about the lives of millions of innocent people. If we kill or enslave people, that is none of your business. You are a danger to us, Lensman. You will not make a good slave, and besides, you begin to bore me. You and your friends must be eliminated. <laughs> like they used to. Hold on a minute. I don't think the party's over yet. <gasps> Let's get out of here. Great minds think alike. If we head up this corridor, maybe there's a way out. There is no way out up there, Kinnison. I already checked it. We're pinned down. That sound, what is it? I don't know. They're, they're dropping like flies. No, I see what you mean about that lens of yours, Kennison. Thanks. We owe you one. I... I didn't use my lens. I am sure you have a great many questions, Lensman. Huh? But at this moment, we have a task to perform. Hold it, Buzz! Can't you see he's a Lensman? 
You must be the one who saved us from that sea monster. I am Torgan Z. This is the second time you saved us. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Together we have saved Poseidia. Yeah, but I wish I knew how to use this lens better. We almost got creamed. You're doing fine, kid. Don't worry about it. Sure. I can barely handle one lens, and he's got two of them. How do you do it, Torgonzi? Review what you have learned, young lensman. Right now? All right. First, you must focus. You mean empty my mind, clear my thoughts, and meditate, right? No, not at all. I mean you should be quiet and just listen. Now, if you listen carefully, you'll learn how to let the lens work through you. See what you mean? I've got mentor in stereo. <laughs> This is Torrency. A word of warning. You are a new lensman. In your brief career as part of the Arisian Fellowship, you have thwarted Helmut's plans. He does not forget these defeats quickly. You must be prepared to do battle with the forces of darkness. A lensman is not invulnerable. Remember, you are only flesh and blood. You must be forever vigilant. Farewell, young lensman, and good luck. Time has come to eliminate those who attempt to prevent our Bosco minions from conquering the universe. These lensmen. If we fail to take action against them, these pawns of the Arisian swine may yet destroy us. We shall begin by attacking their newest recruit, the Tellurian known as Kinnison. Kinnison. But you can't go to Ovega, Admiral. You mustn't. You're simply not strong enough. As ship's physician, I am responsible we for... We all gotta go sometime, Doc. I'll have plenty of time to take it easy after I retire. Huh? But until I do, I'm not In about to... In other words, Doc, shut up. Hmm. How's your blood pressure, Doc? My blood pressure's just fine, and you know it. <laughs> Major Smith. Yes, sir. Tell me, do you agree that the Avagan mission's a waste of time? Sir, intelligence reports that the Bosco and fleet could hit Avega long before we could get there to stop them. Captain Henderson, show us the schematics of that ship. Aye, aye, sir. The hulls of the Boscone vessels we've encountered have been armored with bentlam. It's at least 20 times tougher than ours, but much lighter, resulting in excellent maneuverability. At first, we thought that our inertialess free drive gave us an advantage, but now they've developed a hyperspace drive of their own. So it does threaten a Vega. So what can we do about it? Doc's right. There's nothing we can do. I'd have to agree, Admiral. The problems on Avega aren't your responsibility. Besides, sir, as I recall, we offered the Avegans our support some time ago, and they refused it. And now the situation would make such a mission too dangerous. Thank you, Major, for your concern. I thank you all for trying your best to protect me. But my mind is made up. I'm going to Avega. Is that understood? No offense, Admiral. Major. But it's my duty to point out that Patrol Mandate 17C requires any officer of your rank to remain within patrol jurisdiction when on I a mission... I assure you, Major, I'll be very well protected. And though a Vega may seem unimportant, I have reason to believe this mission to be absolutely vital. that the whole committee was against it, sir. You see, Kim, they don't understand that I've made a commitment to Avega and its people. Perhaps you don't know that Avega is where I first saw active duty. No, sir, I had no idea. Avega is at peace now, but hundreds of years ago, the Avegans almost destroyed themselves. War to end all wars, they called it. <laughs> it was almost the end of the entire planet. Finally, they settled their differences and pledged never again to take up arms. And they've kept that pledge, Kim. I learned to admire their non-violent society on my first tour of duty. That's when I became acquainted with the king, from whom I learned a great deal. But when I tried to warn him of a possible Bosco invasion, he said, My dear friend, it's kind of you to warn me of this danger. And your concern for the Avagan people is greatly appreciated. Well, I'm sure you know that we would never compromise on principles by participating in acts of violence for any cause, even the safety of our planet. 
Sometimes, we must keep the faith, knowing that we may perish as a result of our beliefs. Jim, it's hard for an old warrior like me to understand. Duty and honor to me means to be willing to lay down your life for freedom. Freedom is a cause worth fighting for. See that combat cruiser up there? It's one of ours. The Vegans believe that their faith in a universal fellowship can protect them, whereas I believe in air power and tactical superiority. We must help them in spite of themselves. I would very much like to go with you, sir. I believe that the people of Avega have a right to remain non-violent, and I think that we should try to protect them. Thanks, Kim. You're welcome, sir. The Avegans' faith may be strong, but that won't matter to them. Matter to whom? The Boscone. But I believe as you do, sir. Yes, I can see that. But if we're going to Avega, we'll have to find a crew. Volunteers, of course. My huh? daddy told me never to volunteer, but... <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> It'll be good to have a real pro along, Buzz. Yeah, and even though I could do the job single-handedly, uh... <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, I do. Doc, you were dead set against this mission. I still am. Chris, what are you doing here? Kim, did you think for one minute I'd let you go on this mission without me? And as for me, Admiral, I just want you to know you that... You just it's... try and stop me. I didn't plan on stopping you. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't with you all the way. I can't thank you enough, Doc. That, my friends, goes for all of you. Lord Eric. Yes, my lord. I want you to lead our fleet closer to a Vega. Instantly, my lord. Do you want us to invade? No, it should appear as though we are. I have a plan. Oh, why the hell do you Everything checks out. She's all yours. <laughs> Hey, Kinnison, be sure to bring me one of those trained plants as a souvenir. I must not have heard you right. Did you say trained plants? What are you talking about, Singleton? So you don't know about a Vega, huh? Oh, please, forgive my incredible ignorance. The Avegans have a unique symbiotic relationship with the plant life on their planet. In fact, photosynthesis is their main source of power. They've even developed a strain of sentient vine which is capable of navigating and powering their spacecraft. You hear that, Buzz? Watch your step or you'll be replaced by a rhododendron. I'll turn over a new leaf. It would be an advantage to have a navigator who didn't talk back. Not to mention the additional oxygen generated by plant life. And you'd make a good flower pot. Hey, what's that? Looks like the whole fleet's out there. You're right. How's that for a send-off? Great. Engage. single time I go into hyperspace, I get all twisted inside and I feel like I'm going to lose my lunch. Uh-huh. If you don't mind, I think I'll just sit over here. Chris. Yeah? I was wondering. Yes, Doc? Why did you really come along? And don't tell me it was just because you wanted to be with Kim. No, that was the main reason, but I'm also a member of the Galactic Patrol. Wurzel, what are you doing transmitting on this frequency? This is a restricted sector. It's against regulations. Captain Henderson, you are about to be blown to pieces by the Boscone vessel, which has been following you. What do your regulations say about that? Singleton? There's nothing on the screen to indicate it, sir. Relying on sensors in hyperspace is the quickest path to oblivion. Have you got a better suggestion? Where's Kim? On his own ship. Then may the cosmos protect Battle you. stations! Huh? Battle stations! Bosco ship closing! Attention all Battle hands! Stations. I want full deflector shields! Battle plan Omicron! It was
would appear that the Bosco ship is attempting to ram the Britannia, awaiting instructions. Set course to intersect. Intersect course. And then see if you can get Henderson on the screen. Captain Henderson does not respond. Hey, Kim, looks like they're playing bumper cars. We've got to move in and save them. Division imminent. Oh, no! Get him! Fire! Unable to penetrate Bentley armor. Kim Kinnison, you must disengage. Yeah, I hear you. Beast all ignition, full thrust in six seconds. like we've lost them. Bosco now still with us. That's impossible. But true, nonetheless. He's right. It's coming up on the screen. Why doesn't she attack? She might not know we're here. How come? We might be just too close. Normal parameters of spatial coordinates have little or no relevance in hyperspace. If you check the manual, it'll tell you the same thing, too. You're right. What an opportunity this is, Buzzkirk. Hey, Saul, you think you can get us in even closer? I mean, real close, about six or seven feet, give or take an inch or two. Executing pre-docking maneuvers. And how would you like to play captain again, Saul? Proposition accepted. All right, captain, but get us in real tight. Don't bump into that ship, OK? Of course not. Hey, Buzz, you're going to love this. How would you like to take a walk outside with me? Sounds great. Where are we going to? Just going next door. We have to give those Bosco a welcome to the neighborhood. Yes. You know, I just love to welcome new guys into the neighborhood. <laughs> Sir, if we're not back in five minutes, Saul will take you on to a Vega. Just hurry back aboard, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Doc, how can anyone survive out there? Those two seem to be able to survive anything. But even they can't survive out there for long. Buzz, let's just hammer away until we make a hole in this thing. Okay. Hey! Get back here. We're not done yet. Look, Saul, if anything does happen to them, you may have to get us out of here fast. Captain Saul, awaiting your instructions, Admiral Hay. May all the powers of the cosmos be with you now, my love. They think they can defeat the overlords of Delga. Ha! The trap is working perfectly. The fools. But I cannot make it look too easy, or they may become suspicious. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, Buzz, we're out of here. Lord help, the Lensman has fallen right into our trap. How predictable these creatures are. And now, Vordak. You shall prepare yourself for your true mission, to bring me the glowing ember of Arisia. The lens might be destroyed during the invasion. Indeed, the only way to capture a lensman is with cunning, not with firepower. The host must be alive if the lens is to be of any value to me. 
Recall the fleet at once and descend to the planet yourself. You shall bring me that lens. For that is honored, my lord. Greetings! This is quite a welcome. Look! Oh, you're beautiful. My dear Thanks. friend, welcome back to Avega. We thought you would be under attack. Your reputation preceded you, Admiral. The Boscone must have learned of your impending arrival, and it would appear that they considered themselves so threatened that they left as quickly as they could. Mm -hmm. Now come, there's something very special I'd like to show you. Everything's so green, so lush, I've never seen a world that could support this much plant life. Yeah, it's a real jungle out there. <laughs> Kim. It's not merely ornamental. Here on Avega, we depend upon our plant life for our everyday existence a great deal more than you do on Earth. Plants and more plants. Where's the action at, anyway? Just be satisfied that we're getting a little break from combat for a few hours. This is a truly majestic place, a monument to freedom. Indeed, Admiral. A monument and a shrine. Built long, long ago in memory of two young Evagans who gave their lives that their world might remain free. Tis fitting that we remember them today, for this is not the first time the Boscone have visited our planet. They came once before, 500 years ago, in the reign of my ancestor, young King Nexus and his beloved Queen Astra. We were never a warlike people, and the Boscone swept over our planet like a plague, until one narrow mountain pass was all that stood between them and the heart of our civilization. There, King Nexus stood his ground, with only a few loyal followers to help him. Outnumbered 50 to 1, the Avagan line wavered, and their leader fell. Nexus! As death and destruction raged about them, Astra cradled him in her arms. It was at that moment that she knew she must don the mantle of the fallen king and rally the few remaining freedom fighters of Avega. Astra, my darling. We must. I know. Too little, too late. The battle was lost. And yet, even in defeat, there could be victory. But it would require the ultimate sacrifice. With the last of his strength, Nexus guided their craft upward into the very heart of the enemy flagship. The survivors of that war raised this monument in their honor. For 500 years, it has watched over a world at peace. Kim Kinnison. Kim Kinnison. Why have you relaxed your vigilance, Vansman? You must learn to sense the presence of evil. For there is an evil presence on a Vega. You are in danger. Oh, no, that blank look again. A call from his Arisian mightiness, I suppose? Yes, it was Mentor. Every time he snaps his mental fingers, you go off into your own world, and then I'm alone. He doesn't leave a lady much self-respect. I don't have much choice, Chris. As a lensman, I've got certain responsibilities. Well, what did the Cosmic Mastermind want this time? There's danger on a Vega, an evil presence of some kind. He's a bit late. The Bosco left hours ago. Maybe, but Mentor's never been wrong yet. 
I'm sure he knows best. Chris, don't tell me you're jealous. Don't be silly. The emanations seem to be coming from this ship. What kind of emanations? Can you get a fix on what sort of creature it is? No. Keep slipping in and out of focus. My sentries have detected no unauthorized personnel in the area. With all due respect, Your Majesty, I'd like to go aboard. Do I have your permission, sir? By all means, my boy. Be my guest. All right, but you're not going alone. I'm sending Chris and the ship's pilot with you. Hey, Buzz. You coming? No, thanks. I'll wait down here with Saul. The plants around here are giving me hay fever. Of course, Buzz. I understand. Don't worry about it. Chris and I will be happy to do it together. I'm just obeying orders. <laughs> the trap is set and ready to be sprung. Stand by for boarding. Sol, do you think there's anything to what Kim said? Are your sensors picking up any strange readings from that ship? Readings indicate a normal concentration of organic energy, considering the fact that plant life is used as its means of propulsion. Correction, sensors now indicate an unknown life form in close proximity to the Avedan vessel. Huh? My sensors are color-coded. Varied life forms register differently in the color spectrum. Neither human nor plant life falls within the orange spectrum as this one does. Or rather, did. You mean it's not there anymore? Sensors no longer detect orange spectrum energy source. Well, then I guess it must have been what's called a pigment of your imagination. I assume this is what you call a joke. Yeah, pretty good, huh? <laughs> mm, better luck next time. As you can see, this vessel is equipped with its own botanical garden. Incredible. It supplies us with oxygen, food, power, fuel, in fact, everything we need. A botanical garden and a spacecraft. To help pollinate the plants, there's also a large population of insects on board, mostly butterflies. They were specially bred for space travel. Unfortunately, they're poisonous, so avoid them if you can. But they're not aggressive, so if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. This is the bridge. We control the Corellian link with the photosynthetic reactors that drive the ship from here. Wow, that's amazing. Uh-oh. Kim, what is it? Our mysterious visitor's been here. Let's see if we can locate him with the ship's sensors. Every system aboard the ship depends upon a symbiotic relationship between the plants and the operator. <laughs> Welcome, Benzman. I'm sorry for what happened to the Avagan pilot, but I thought it might be an effective way of demonstrating that this ship and all its systems are now under my control. Show yourself. <laughs> Your wish is my command. Huh? Now then, we're going to take a little trip, Lens. I know someone who would very much like to meet you. Yeah? Sorry, but my date book's full at the moment. What a pity. I'm afraid you really have no choice in the matter. No? No! The ship, it's moving. Your companion's grasp of the obvious is uncanny. Oh, that fucker, take it off! What's going on? I bring you a message from his Imperial Darkness, Lord Helmuth. We have your lens. Lord Helmuth? Looks like they've got Kim. Did you truly believe your pathetic warship could frighten an overlord? Fools! It was the lens he was after, and now it's on its way to him. Do you know what it would mean if Helmuth were to get his hands on the lens? Disaster. We've got to stop that fiend. What are you waiting for, Saul? Come on, get with it! Move! There's no need to shout. What do you hope to accomplish by doing that? <laughs> a holographic image of some kind. This isn't getting us anywhere. We've got to do something, and fast. I know. I'd try taking over the controls, but you saw what happened to the pilot. Yes, poor man. Come out, you coward. Wow. 
Or are you afraid to meet me face to face? Chris! Chris, are you okay? Some fun. You don't seem to be enjoying yourselves. How unfortunate. This may be your last opportunity. I, however, am having a marvelous time. Watch it! Hmm. <sighs> Not a bad shot for a nurse. Well, I am marksmanship champion huh? of B Deck sub level five. I thought I was champion of B Deck sub level. I don't care who was the champion of what. You bore me. Time to play a new game. Do your worst, pal. I've got the power of the Orisians behind me, and they're just as strong as you are. Insect. The Orisians are a race of sickly cosmologists just waiting for the inevitable day when the Adorian Empire puts them out of their misery. Oh. The lens. I think it's trying to show us the way. Yep, you're right. Okay, come on. Oh, I like this game. You try to escape where there is no escape. Look at this place. Gris, can you sense the power inside this chamber? It's incredible. This must be the ship's power core. I can feel Bordak watching us. I'm sure he knows we're here. The only question is, what will he do next? Let's go. Hey, look. I knew Mentor wouldn't let us down. Sorry I said all those nasty things about him. It looks like these escape pods are the answer to our problems. Be careful. Well, I'll be. Hold tight, Chris. I'm gonna get us out of here. But how? You haven't any idea of how to fly it. I got no time for lessons. All right, we got away. Not quite. As death and destruction raged about them, she cradled him in her arms. Uh, it was at that moment that she knew she must don the mantle of the fallen king. So be it. It's up to me now. I'm 
never gonna make it. Oh, please, just a little more power. <laughs> this part isn't fast enough to get us out of range. Uh. It's that story all over again. That story about young King Nexus and his wife. Only this time it's us. Yet, even in defeat, there could be victory. But it would require the ultimate sacrifice. This is my confounded lens to shield them from the blast. I must use more power. He must have gone out of his mind. He's on a collision course with that thing. Step on it, Saul. Affirmative. What is he doing? With the last of his strength, he guided their craft upward into the very heart of the enemy flagship. Thank heavens the power of the lens prevented Kinnison and McDougal from suffering the same fate as King Nexus and Queen Astra. I'd rather lead a parade than build another memorial. Yes, we have a great deal to be thankful for, Your Majesty. But when will that day come when young people are no longer asked to lay down their lives in the name of freedom? When? I pray it comes soon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.